hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi so today's video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be telling you guys about my first trimester experience like my symptoms that i had first trimester this is the second time i'm filming this video so i'm quite tired and annoyed already i filmed this video like three weeks ago and i deleted it by mistake it's fine so i'm going to be filming it again so let's get started so now i am about to enter my third trimester yeah so i'm in like my, my last week of my second trimester so i'm entering my third trimester this is how my belly looks like now let me show you so this is my tummy so this is how big i am now i know i look cute i wrote everything down in my journal so i'm about to start reading every single thing and explaining them to you so the first thing that i experienced was morning sickness hmm it came anytime it's not even morning anymore it's any day any time whenever it feels like coming every time i finish eating i will throw up like i will eat a very nice meal very very nice meal and throw it up do you know how painful that was then every time i was brushing my teeth i would throw up there's no way even though i woke up and i'm brushing my teeth I'll throw up, throw up what is inside. There's nothing there, but I'll throw up anything. There, there's, a, there's one time I smelled raw eggs. I threw up immediately. So technically, anytime, everything was just nasty. Heartburn. I think I had heartburn just like some few days, couple of days, then it stopped. So it wasn't really that bad. Then fatigue. Of course, you're going to get tired. You're going to get tired so much, but it was fine. It wasn't that bad. I kept waking up by 3 a.m. every day till today. I'm still waking up by 2 to 4 I'm awake. Then sleeping back was so hard that I had to eat something for me to sleep back every time. There's so, just like on the dot 3 a.m. I was awake. Either 3 a.m., 3.45, in between those times I was awake. I don't know why. Like I said, till today, I still wake up by those times. Even though it's just to go pee, this one drop of pee that will come out then excess saliva so this one i was not expecting i i think i was spitting constantly for two weeks straight mostly when i got to my 10th week 10 and 11 weeks i was spitting constantly like i could not swallow my saliva because it felt like you know that malaria drug because it felt like malaria drug in my mouth my mouth was bitter my tongue was bitter my saliva was bitter so it was nasty so i had to carry like a cup everywhere i was going to with me because it was just ah it was annoying or chewing gum i had to chew gum so that i won't taste my saliva it was annoying it was nasty so this whole spitting stuff made me remember when i was younger and i went to get my hair relaxed and the owner of the salon's daughter she was pregnant too and she kept on spitting spitting i was like hmm this one just spitting too much then i realized also that nigerians used to say stop spitting like a pregnant woman so now i get it i just hope that my second pregnancy whenever that happens would be like this mostly the spitting aspects because it was annoying dizziness yeah i did experience dizziness during the first trimester mostly when i got up from my bed or got up too fast like i would just feel like that wave of dizziness the moody i was moody a lot I was always arguing with my husband for stupid things we can i can wake up in the morning and i can just say why are you making noise why are you doing this why are you doing that why did you let the dog do this why did you let the dog do that why did you turn off this why did you turn off that like it's just getting moody then i'll start crying then i'll be so clingy like i'm super clingy to him right now and he's like why are you so clingy he was like i like i know you're clingy but now it's like too much why are you too clingy i just want to be inside his skin under I want to enter him like i want to be so close to him every single time so yeah i'm going to rest my back because i'm tired so feeling bloated yes i think i started feeling bloated at 10 11 weeks also and i thought that's what the, um, that was my bump coming but no that wasn't my bump coming that was just bloatiness <laughs> bloatness <laughs> bloatedness and everybody said it was normal like i have this app called flow not sponsored and everybody was like, oh yeah, it's normal. It's normal to have this bloaty experience. Because I think my tummy really popped at 16 weeks or 15. I think 16, 17 weeks. That's when my stomach started showing. Then I was avoiding a lot of food. Like I didn't want to eat anything at all. Like I didn't want to eat nothing. Like I, nothing. 
Every time it just became nasty to me. I was like, yo, ew, ew, ew. So I kept eating custard mostly. Custard, cornflakes, those were the things I wanted to eat. Milk and milo, the dry milk and milo. That's all I wanted to eat. I didn't want to eat anything nasty. I was like, everything just, mm, mm, mm. Then gagging here, yeah, gagging was part of me. Brushing my teeth, I'll start brushing, start gagging. Smell some certain things, I thought, <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Some people don't like that. Like, I was, uh, first trimester was hard. That's it, like I tell you, it, was, it wasn't it at all. Like, the whole gagging stuff was, was nasty. I, I didn't want to spray perfume because of how strong my perfume was. So it was like, ugh. Even sometimes I'll just enter my bathroom and I was like, ugh. Then bitter tongue, like I said, my tongue was bitter for I think whole of my first trimester. My tongue was bitter. I had cracked lips. Even to today, my lips are cracked, so I have to carry my lip gloss everywhere I go. It's here. This is like how many? I have so many everywhere in this room because my lips are cracked and they were bleeding. I don't know why. Like, I didn't know it was going to be part of those things. I thought it was going to go away, but immediately I found out I was pregnant. My lips have been cracked till now, till now, but it's fine. Me, that my lips are always moist, juicy, because I always carry lip gloss everywhere I'm going to. I don't know what's happening, but it's fine. It's all good. Cramps, yes. My cramps started the time I found out I was pregnant, actually. There was like a week before I found out I was pregnant, and I felt this sharp pain in the middle of the night. Like, I fell on the floor. It was so painful, and apparently that was like implantation, and that, that thing was painful. I don't know. I don't know why but that's implantation stuff so cramps so to, to, till now I'm feeling cramps because it's like your uterus is expanding so obviously you're going to feel cramps then spotting for a week yes I did spot at seven weeks I was so scared but it was just like the very little stuff they didn't do, do anything but I was scared I was like Ryan I'm bleeding I'm bleeding he was like it's spotting stop Worrying, I was like, I know, but still, why are you not panicking with me? Better just for it. Some a week, mine was a week. Some people say that was like some days, but me, well, it was a week, and it was like little, little, little. Then irritated to smells, <laughs> yes, I was irritated to every smell only till now. Some smells are very irritating. My dog is irritating. Some certain things, some certain perfumes I have are irritating. My first trimester and it was my first few weeks, my second trimester. There were a lot of eggs and it was nasty. And I love eggs. So we're feeling unclean, yes. I was feeling so dirty, like I wanted to shower every single five minutes. Shower twice a day. I wanted to just shower. Because yeah, also excess vagina um, discharge. I did not know that one. You're going to just have so much vagina discharge that like, even till now, your vagina discharge is going to be so different. So yeah, you have to just know that one. It's going to be there, so you feel so dirty, so you want to clean up every single time. You want to wear this, you want to wear that, and sometimes they say it's not good to wear underwear so you can breathe, because your underwear will get so tight, so you can't just be wearing it all the time. But I'm like, if your vagina discharge is like runny, how would you catch it? So you have to wear something. But it's okay. Me, I can talk openly and freely because I just finished school medical school so all of us used to open our mouths a lot nothing is nasty we have seen everything so it's fine then back ache i did feel back ache but not that much i don't think my back ache was too much it was just fine it was there nothing too bad but ah i miss laying down my tummy but it's fine um wet tongue feeling you know when you wake up in the morning and you, you haven't brushed your teeth yet that feeling on your tongue that's what I kept I kept feeling every single time, even though I brushed my teeth twice a day. I was still feeling that thing. I was like, what is this on my tongue? I was like, I'll use my teeth to start scratching it off, but nothing was coming out. Headaches. I did have headaches for a while. It was annoying. It was painful. The headaches I kept having. But I didn't take any painkillers. I didn't really take any painkillers this whole pregnancy time. The only time I took Painkillers was like a month ago, and it was past time I took so that the pain could just reduce because they said do not take painkillers. I don't know, I'm just trying not to take too much painkiller stuff so my body not scary to it because I'm trying to have natural birth here, even though I don't like pain sometimes. Then, food cravings for Nigerian food, yes, that's what I want to eat now, only Nigerian food. Now I'm looking for how to go and make banga. I want to make banga, I want to make egusi, I want to make black soup. Black soup is my favorite soup in this life. <laughs> Nobody can take it away from me. But the my black soup, <clears throat> I can't remember that to come because she's coming when I give birth. So she already knows. She's, her duty is just to cook 
just sit down there and cook for me and take care of the child of course the particular food i was craving if you stay in benin or have or went to the same second square, went to Ibinidia. Then you know what I'm talking about. Ivory kitchen. If you know Ivory kitchen, the sausage that they have. Ooh, now I'm talking about it. My, I'm celebrating. The sausage they sell is what I was craving. I was still craving some some days ago. I was craving that sausage, craving scotched egg. I was craving most things that they were selling in that um, kiosk. So I was like, oh. I was like, how am I going to eat all these things when I can't even find it? I was craving um, egg rolls. They used to sell at Abward, like my university. I was craving the egg rolls. So that's how I decided to make my own egg rolls at home. Even though I don't know how to bake, but I tried. I tried my best. It looked presentable. I'll see if I can find a picture and post it here. It looked presentable. I did my best for baking for the first time. I've been craving a lot of Nigerian food. A lot. And one thing about Houston is everywhere is far away. 30 minutes away, 45 minutes away, this minute away. So it's annoying that I can't really go to Nigerian restaurants like I used to back in Dallas. Dallas was like 12 minutes away from my house. But now it's like so far. And yeah. And also the panting. Me panting is taking deep breaths when I'm talking too much or when I do anything. I'm going to keep all this for my second and third trimester. That's if you guys want to see the videos. If they don't see that, I'll post it. But yeah. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. Even though I had nothing too much to talk about, I'm just like explaining some of the experiences I felt during my first trimester and now I am on to my last trimester which is the third trimester apparently there are four trimesters but anyways I'm into my third trimester so the baby is coming soon I can't wait to meet my baby and see how the baby will look <laughs> I'm trying not to say the gender I will show the gender later not now probably like towards the due date is when I will post Oh, this is the agenda of my baby. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!